Mr. Speaker, in accordance with Section 2AA3 of the Government Loans Act of 1978, I rise to inform this Honorable House of the execution of a government guarantee on behalf of Hotel Co. Bermuda Holding Limited, part of the Hotel Co. International Group of Companies, in relation to loans to finance the development cost and related expenses associated with the construction of the proposed St. Regis Bermuda Hotel in St. George's. This is indeed a, a historical, a, an historic project for the tourism industry, the St. George's community, and Bermuda as a whole. Mr. Speaker, honorable members will recall that the previous government signed the Master Development Agreement with Hotel Co. Bermuda Holdings Limited, which was followed by a groundbreaking ceremony which took place on May 4, 2017. Mr. Speaker, just to provide honorable members with a little bit of background on the Hotel Co. Group. The origin of Hotel Co. goes back 60 years when it started in Venezuela as a construction company and real estate developer of housing and commercial projects. The company went international at the beginning of the 2000s. In the 1990s, the company switched the main focus of its business to the development and direct construction of hotel properties. Hotel Co. has built five hotels with a total of 1,160 rooms, all of them operated by Marriott International under its various brands. The portfolio of current developments of Hotel Cove include a Ritz-Carlton Resort in Providencell, Turks and Caicos Islands, 129 rooms and 72 residences, a St. Regis Hotel and residences in Aruba, 127 rooms and 56 residences, and the, and the St. Regis Resort in Bermuda, 120 rooms and 102 residences. It is the philosophy of the company to hold the ownership of the hotels for the long run. Mr. Speaker, the government gave an undertaking to support the financing of this project by providing a guarantee for up to $25 million of the estimated project cost of $160 million. The developers relied on this commitment when arranging the financing for this project, and it is only fair that the current government also honor this commitment. This project has and continues to provide jobs for Bermudians in the construction phase, as well as jobs for Bermudians once the facility becomes operational. Mr. Speaker, the guarantee provides that the government cannot be legally required to fund more than $25 million to repay the lender if Hotel Co. Bermuda Holdings Limited is unable to perform their obligations to the lender. The financing being guaranteed is provided under a loan financing maturing in 15 <coughs> years. Mr. Speaker, it is important to note that the government will be compensated by, for, for, for providing the guarantee. Also of note is the fact that initially the developer invested a greater sum of their own equity capital into the project and is a sign of good faith and a show of confidence by the developers in the viability of the project. Mr. Speaker, to be clear, the government guarantee is in relation to the bank loan and not the developer's equity. Therefore, the government's actual contingent liability only exists in line with the bank loans. The bank loan, I'm sorry, and that's a tranche A loan. The funding arrangement for the project are as follows. The first $35 million of the project cost was funded with equity capital. The next $125 million will be funded between equity and the bank, the bank loan. 62.5% or $100 million will be funded with equity, and 37.5% or $60 million will be funded with bank loans. The government guarantee is limited to the $25 million of the bank loan. Mr. Speaker, the development is on time and on budget, and its estimated opening of the hotel was scheduled for the spring of 2021. At the end of September 2019, the total investment in the St. Regis development was $65 million, and 100 percent of that was funded by equity from the developers. Mr. Speaker, the 120-room St. Regis Bermuda Resort will be the first significant hotel development in St. George, St. George's, which includes a casino, spa, and golf resort and will potentially provide for many opportunities for local residents and businesses to participate firstly in the construction of development and eventually in the running of this tourism facility in the East End. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.